All right, so I'm going to show you a little electric guitar part tutorial for You Have Won Me, even though I'm playing acoustic. So we're going to cable here on the second fret, and it's going to be in the key of A, but relative to the capo, I'm playing in G, really. So everything that I'm going to be telling you is relative to the capo. It's pretty simple, actually. So the beginning part... That's, um, you're on the B string, first fret, and then the, you hit that twice, and then you have B string, third fret, and then just open B string, third fret of B string, and then the second fret of the G string, and then open G, second fret G, open B, and then second fret G, and then open G. So all together it's So you notice there I hammered on and I let these ring. So I don't think he actually hammers on in the recording. It just when you actually have electric and it's ringing it, it sounds pretty good to do that. But you can go. But you do want to let those ring because it adds a little bit of mm, raunch, shall we say, to it. And then um, it, you have the second time it does that, you have the same thing, only it does something a little bit different at the end. It's actually very hard to hear what exactly he does. I think it goes. think that he does that but you can do something that sounds even better especially when you have all the effects on the electric so you go da, 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 same thing and then you go second fret D string quick slide up to fourth fret D string and then you're and then you're playing third fret B string and then the open G string and then the fourth fret D string. So it's three zero zero three two. And then you repeat it. give a, a light strum of that E minor, relative to the cable, of course. Um, and uh, then, so verse one is just piano, and then verse one repeated is piano and guitar. But then you come in again, electric, on the chorus, and you have an alternating pattern that goes. But uh, so it's it's kind of like that. So you're doing uh, first fret on the B string, and then the open G string, and then you have open B string and G string, and then second fret of the G string and open D string. So I actually go back up because. <laughs> and I would hit both of those and let it just ring. And then I would switch to a less fuzzy tone, a cleaner tone, and play your... Oh, uh... I'm, I don't have the chords in front of me, I don't know what I'm doing. But it's even better if you play, switch to a cleaner tone and do something up high.
So what I'm doing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninth fret of the G G string, eighth fret of the B string, and seventh fret of the um, uh, E string. And now I'm playing, and then I go up to the I move my pointer finger up to the 8th fret of the E string. And now I'm going, barring that 7th fret on the D, G, or yeah, the G, B, and E. And um, so just keeping that there, and then I put my, my pinky on the, what is that? So 8th, 9th, 10th fret, all relative to the capo of the E string. And then I put my um, sorry, my middle finger on the ninth fret of the B string. And then I just pull that middle finger off so that that's barred now. On the so I'm... And it sounds nice when you have a little bit of a little bit of crunchiness to the guitar, but not too much. So it sounds nice. And then you've got your uh, chorus again. All that. And then you do the instrumental. And the first time through, you play it just as you normally did. Sorry. And then you go way up here. So you're going. So you're up here on the, I don't know what it is now, 13th fret? Yeah, 13th fret here uh, on the B string. And then you go to the 10th fret on the uh, e string. I would actually just bar those two. And you want to let those ring. So now I'm down to the 10th fret there on the B string. And now you can actually bar the entire, the first three there, or the last three. And then you, uh, you're, you're playing your 12th fret of the B. B, sorry, uh, G. And then I'm playing that 10th fret of the B. And going to the 12th. 10th, 12th, 10th, and then the 12th of the uh, G. I'm getting all mixed up. And then you come back down to that 12th, but then you go up to the, what is that, the 14th, and you're bending up to the, and bending up to the 5th. So it's a, easier on electric. You can only just, you can just bend. And then you're coming down to this cool thing. This is the bridge part, and this is essential here. So you're barring now the fifth fret on the D, G, and B strings, and you keep that barred position so you're having and then on the um, what is this <laughs> the B string you're going up to your eighth fret and you're hitting just these so if you have to use your pointer finger to mute this A string so you don't accidentally hit it and then you're just adding taking your ring finger 
and putting it on the seventh fret of the D or G string. And then you're taking your uh, uh, pinky finger and moving it down to the seventh fret of the B string. And moving it back up. So. is just easy. It's, I think that that's, uh, that covers basically the entire song. So hopefully that's enough for you.